on WFXG.com earlier today. The family of an Augusta teen who is in prison says a photo shows him being abused by other inmates. Now, his mother first saw the photo last night on social media. She spoke to our Brandon Gates, and she says it's unacceptable how the facility has responded. That's still my child, and I feel the same way it was someone else's child. They don't deserve it. Demetria Harris says there's something familiar about this photo that surfaced on social media Sunday night. It appears to show three inmates, one holding a belt strapped around his neck, and that person is her son. That's how, how we found out it's the by Facebook. 17-year-old Cortez Berry, who was arrested in 2011 for armed robbery and carjacking, along with two other teens, has been at the Al Burris Correctional Training Center in Forsyth, Georgia, since March 2014. Harris says her sister visited the facility this morning to find out what happened. They say he was jumped by 10 guys. And they went into his dorm and jumped him, and they took all his stuff. Harris says there was no explanation or possible reason for the attack, and she says she still has yet to hear from the facility about the incident. And we're trying to figure out how did they get inside his cell. You know, you have, they are guards there, and they pay them to do their job, so evidently somebody wasn't doing their job for him to be beaten like that, and then on top of it, it was able to be posted on Facebook. Public Information Officer for the Georgia Department of Corrections, Gwendolyn Hogan, says the claim is being investigated. She says there's a partial lockdown on the area where the incident occurred. Meanwhile, back home, Harris just says she will impatiently wait to get some answers. Brandon Gates, WFXG, Fox 54. Harris says Barry will be eligible for a possible early release and parole coming up in October.